So the school opened this week, but unfortunately you can see that it is still not ready. Um, so we have to do a lot of things concurrently. Um, lessons are still ongoing, but there are a lot of delays, a lot of unforeseen circumstances. In fact, it's such a long list that I need my phone to help me. So the main problem started with the aircon. There was no aircon isolated power. So after we built up our aircon, we realized we cannot connect it to the building and uh, we had to go all the way to the rooftop, find the cable and trace. So we actually had no aircon for the first um, two days of our business and that was really bad because we had to um, buy fans for all the studios, we had to bring in uh, air purifier, we had to um, ventilate the place. So that really took a big hit for us. So the next big issue was the electrical and the fire safety test. Um, in fact, it has been delayed for one week and the next few days they'll be running through the tests. So without the test, we cannot uh, install the doors, we cannot install the padding, uh, we cannot even play on the acoustic drums. So we have delay in the, our lighting, our electrical. So this main delay has really caused us you know, to not uh, function properly as a centre. Uh, we are still waiting for an appointment from SP services. So again, very unforeseen and due to all the holidays that were stacked up, um, they couldn't give us an appointment date. On top of that, there were many errors in the building and construction as well as from the vendors. So for a start, our signage, you know, it's really um, small, it's the wrong colour, um, so we have to change that in time to come. The CCTV and the video monitor also give us some issues. There was a buzzing sound coming out from the monitors which affected the studios. Biometric system also has some issues with the pairing, so we have to stay up one whole day just to sort that out. We have to redo the front door of the centre. So this is just a temporary door um, because they haven't constructed the design of the front door. So the contractor and the consultant has to come down to draw the, the, the exact specifications and redo the whole front door. And then there were some delays. So we have a very nice wall um, design that's going to be here, but the designer is based overseas. To get the designs here, there were some delays as well as they had to actually repaint the whole place. So um, because of all the delays, they have to paint the first layer and then put up some stuff and then repaint the second layer. But they have to wait for the whole repainting to be done in order for this wallpaper to go up. We also have our notice board and shoe rack, which we ran into some issues. So we are waiting for the plywood. Plywood has not been delivered, so without the plywood, we cannot uh, carry on with the building and construction. Another delay is our symbol wall feature. We are actually waiting for the plywood to come so that we can spray and treat it and mount it up as well. This has really been a difficult time for all of us at my drum school, but we are very thankful for our students and the parents of our students who have been very supportive, very understanding. So we just really want to thank you and hopefully we can give you a walkthrough of the whole centre when it's done. Hi, my name is Joyce Lin. I joined my drum school as a full-time educator since the middle of August when we moved in. I felt like everything just got upgraded. Like our space got upgraded, uh, our equipment got upgraded. Yeah, we got brand new drum sets, brand new TV. We got a much bigger space. It was a lot easier to work in since 
everything just happens seamlessly. Like, we can just come into work, start class, and everything will go on as per normal. It's been about a month since I started full time. I've got about 40 students right now. Most of them are brand new since our expansion. Since this is our biggest centre yet, um, we've got four brand new studios. We've been enrolling lots of new students and it's been a joy to teach them. I've been um, spending a lot more time in uh, the Amokyo branch, um, spending lots more time with my colleagues, especially Joel and Siang, who are also based here. We have lots of fun times in our much bigger office, um, more space for us to breathe. Managing my 40 students, it's not too bad, just that when my makeups kind of stack up against each other, then it gets a bit hectic on uh, where I should schedule all my, my makeup students. Yeah, coming back on MDS holidays to, to clear all these uh, makeups. Yeah. Since we are moving into a bigger centre, or we have moved into a bigger centre, we've got more opportunities of hiring newer people um, from different places as well. I'm looking forward to meeting more colleagues from the different branches and I'm uh, really thankful for this opportunity to join this full-time team with my drum school. My slots are still available, so contact our customer service officer to <laughs> enroll. <laughs> Hi, my name is Zero. It's my first week here at my drum school. I've been teaching for the past 10 years um, at another school and I'm so excited to be here today with my drum school. My first week here has been great, meeting new people and taking new students. Um, my schedule has been uh, piling up pretty quickly and my slots will soon be maxed out. <laughs> so the HR committee put me through a bridging program which lasted for two full days where I get to experience teaching students using the MBS syllabus and I also get to observe um, how they conduct their classes. I've gotten some feedback for them. So I think one thing that stood out at my drum school is the teaching methods that we have, the syllabus which we use, that we all firmly believe we can bring out the best in every student, which we don't get to see often in many schools these days. I believe that's very important for every student's learning journey. Everyone here in my drum school is so helpful. They are very friendly and hardworking as well. I believe James and the managers over here at my drum school has done a really good job in developing a culture which we don't see in many schools. I think that's very important and I'm very fortunate to be able to experience that over here. And we look forward to learning from each other, to helping each other and to become um, greater drummers at the end of the day.